the mount with boughs of holly Na 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 Tis the season to be jolly Na 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 Got me now a gay apparel Na 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 Draw me pictures your die carol Na 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 Hello everyone, welcome to the Christmas video thing that I do sometimes. Don't always get around to it, but as we normally do, I'm going to go over the things that I said that I would do this year, last year, and then see if I did them, and then I'm going to say about the things that I'm going to do next year, and then we'll see next year if I do them. Uh, so, before we begin, um, well, <laughs> I guess I should ad address this. Um, as you can clearly see, I am in a, a different location. Oh, well, it's not actually a different location, it's the same room. I'm just on the other side because I recently rearranged the furniture and stuff in here. And I thought that the tree looked better on this side, so, uh, and I still wanted it in the video, so I'm sat over here. Yeah. What do you think of the tree? Can you even see all of it? I don't even know if you can see all of it. Look who's on top. Can you see him there? It's Flapjack. Yeah. Get it? Because, uh, because he's a little angel. Because <laughs> he's dead. I uploaded a total of 47 videos this year. So far. Uh, which equals out to about four videos a month. Which is crazy. I can't really be bothered to check. But I think that's a record for this channel. Speaking of records, before I forget to mention it, Steamed Hams Inc. just recently passed 10 million views. Which is just, I, I, I can't even wrap my head around that. It actually hasn't quite passed it at the time of me recording this video, but you know, I'm pretty certain that it's going to, if not today, then tomorrow. That, so by the time this video comes out, it will have passed. Can you even see me? Like, is this just blocking all the light from getting to my face? Maybe I should do this. Does that look weird? I think I'm just going to put the hood down, actually. <laughs> there. Get my luscious hair in it. So what did we do this year? Uh, well, we did a few music things. Uh, started off the year with Trumpets of Men, that was fun. Also did... Um, oh, Riptonia. The Ripto's Regicide version of Riptonia finally released that. Hot Mess. That was, that was something quite... Uh, absurd. That was just like, what was it, like a five-way, almost six-way remix of, of a few different songs. It was like, Close to Me and Shape of... No, not Shape of You. One of the other Ed Sheeran ones, Hot and Cold, and it also had Megalovania and the Super Mario Bros. theme in there. <laughs> Somehow it came out as something that just works. Also did Engines Uprising, that was just a little thing I did for that one Crash Team Rumble video. Um, did a few tracks for the Mind of a Mutant series. Oh, and the main thing, main music thing I did this year was obviously the uh, Bring Me the Crystals song. Which was really fun to do, I'm really happy with how that turned out. That went through so many different drafts before I finalised it and got to a version that I was happy with. Yeah, I, I'm very happy with that, I'm glad a lot of people liked it. I really like that that has sort of become its own thing on this channel that I do that no one else really does. Because like obviously the like the YouTube boobs are probably the most popular thing on this channel. That's the thing most people know me for. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I really enjoy making them and I'm glad that people still enjoy watching them all these years later. But the Cortex songs, that's something that like that's like just something I do. I don't really think anyone else does something quite like that. Or at least not exactly like that. Not as to discourage people from trying that, I would definitely love to see people do that too. And that just that just spawned out of nowhere, you know, like I'd done music things, I'd done like crash remixes and stuff, I'd done like auto-tuning, stuff like that, I'd done sentence mixing with Cortex, and that was just like a way to blend all of them together into one thing. And then I just kept doing it, and then, and then like that's become, th like those videos get sometimes way popular, way more popular than my YouTube poops do. And that's pretty cool to see. Um, I already have an idea for another one that I'll do next year. Oh, I haven't had my advent calendar today. Let's do that, shall we? So, uh, oh, it's a teddy bear. Look at that. Can you see that? It's a little teddy bear. 
YouTube poops. There ha I said that last year I was going to do way more than I did in 2022, because I only really did two that year. This year I have done four so far. Sorry, my eye keeps twitching. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, we did Spinge Kill Bills, The Health Imposter, Are We Not Robots, Cheeks and the Chickens, Prepare Uranus, and Scrubbed. And I will say that I already have two collab entries that are done and just waiting in the wings for the full collabs to be released. One of them will most likely be uh, sometime around Christmas, so probably in like a week's time, you know? <laughs> um, and then the other one I think will be in early January, if I'm correct about that. Probably be two YouTube poops in a row on this channel, which is something that hasn't happened for years. <laughs> And then once those two are out, I'll obviously be able to do the next part of the retrospective because then that will be three more YouTube poops since the last part. And then after that, I don't really know. I don't have exact plans for any more YouTube poops, but I'm sure that there will be some. Probably just be more spur of the moment ideas, you know. Um, oh, I will say, actually, I know that I have <laughs> mentioned this so many, so many times and it's, it still seems like it's not getting anywhere, but... There does seem to be some headway being made with the King and Mick collab, the third part of the trilogy. You know, that thing that I've been talking about for ages still hasn't come out yet. But progress is being made. Uh, we recently brought in a new person to finish it off because uh, for some reason Jimmy Davis seems to have just vanished off the face of the earth. Like, I, I literally do, I have no idea where he is. Does anyone know where he is? But yeah, like I said, Whenever that comes out, if it's next year or the year after, it will be sometime. Eventually it will come out and I'll do a trailer for it. I think it will be worth the wait. It's been an incredibly long wait, but I still think it will be worth the wait, yeah. Probably the biggest thing this year was Crash Mind of a Mutant. That was, that was pretty cool. That was uh, the, like the big Let's Play series of this year that I started and finished this year. In fact, I did the whole thing over the course of 19 days. Um, well, I've loaded it over the course of 19 days. Obviously, I've been working on it for months. But I'm really happy with how all that turned out. I'm glad that I kind of went back and redid some of the stuff that I'd started and sort of did it in a different way because I was, I just wasn't having fun with it when I started off. I was like, this isn't going to be as good as the Ratchet and Clank series. And so I just wasn't really putting my all into it. And so I went back and I redid it a bit. And I'm so happy with how the 10 episodes turned out. I am very happy with that series. It's definitely one of my favorite series that I've done. Yeah, if you haven't watched it, I would recommend going and watching it. There's there's only 10 episodes. They're about 13 minutes each, except for the last one, which is a bit longer. In fact, um, I think except for episode one and 10, they're all almost exactly the same length. It's like 12 minutes, 41, 42 or something like that. Which is something that I didn't originally do intentionally, but as it went on, I sort of, I sort of tried to get them all to be that length, just to keep it consistent, um, without compromising very much, thankfully. In terms of the next Let's Play series, I already know what it's going to be. I've had this uh, game in my mind for a long time. I definitely want to do this. I'm not going to reveal what it is. It is a game that I've never played. It's going to be another I've never played series. And, you know, Ratchet & Clank was kind of a blind let's play. I hadn't played the game, but I still kind of knew what it was. I knew more or less what I was getting myself into. This game, I have no clue. No clue whatsoever what it's even about. I barely even really know what genre of game it is. Again, I'm not going to reveal what it is, but I will give you a little hint. It is uh, in that same kind of era as Ratchet & Clank, you know, the uh, PS2 original Xbox GameCube kind of era. Even if you haven't played it, I'm pretty sure like almost everyone has at least heard of it. We did a few other gaming things this year. We did uh, Crash Bandicoot Back in Time. I will get around to finishing that. I had uh, planned to get part two out like in November, I think, but then I just got bogged down with other projects that I needed to get done first. So I've kind of pushed that back a bit. It's already been started, but that will probably come out in January. And then there'll only be one more part after that. Uh, I have already recorded it, but I just need to get around to editing it. And then that will be all your levels that you sent me done. We did that one-off Crash Team Rumble video, and then I've also done like the funny moments, the Rash Cream Tumble thing. That's been a lot of fun. I'm glad that that's kind of taken off. And people are still sending me clips to this day. Um, and I still encourage you to still send me clips. 
because uh, that series has been very fun to put together. And I'm glad that a lot of people have been enjoying that. Uh, we also did the uh, the Let's We Sports Resort video that was just a one-off thing with me and my sister. Um, we'll probably do another thing like that sometime next year on another Wii game. I don't know. Oh yeah, and then another big thing I did was uh, the second episode of Abusing the Glitch, which is a series that I hadn't touched for, what was it, like six and a half years? And then did, did an episode two to it, so I did the um, the glitch where you play as Hunter in any level, anywhere, in Spyro Hero's Tale. That was fun. I'm glad I finally got around to uh, putting that together. I'm very happy with pretty much all the videos that I've loaded this year. There isn't one that I was like disappointed by or anything. It's been good. Gosh, this is really hot. Ugh, why did I? Why did I wear this? What am I doing? Would you believe that the only reason I'm wearing this is because I couldn't find my Santa hat? I, I think I mentioned something about maybe doing live streams this year. I obviously didn't get around to that, but everything else, yeah. I think this year has been a success. So in terms of plans for next year, obviously I've mentioned a few things already. I suppose the main, probably going to be the biggest thing next year for this channel will be the 10 year anniversary video. Because next year is 2024, it will be 10 years since I first started this channel. So I'm gonna do some kind of big video about that, kind of like I did for the two-year celebration thing. Maybe not quite as extravagant as that was, like that was a three-hour long video. But it'll be something like that. I'll, I'll probably do a Q&A thing in there as well. It's been a while since the last Q&A. And then I guess I'll just uh, fill it with some other stuff. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really do retrospectives because I'm already doing that. That's an ongoing series now. So I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, that's not going to be until August, August 1st, and I will get it out on August 1st this time. I won't be late. But yeah, not really a whole lot else planned. And um, that's probably good, because I, I think it's probably best to not have loads of stuff planned and then just like get through them all like one by one, check them off the list. You know, you need a bit of spontaneity, don't you? So yeah, that's my plans for... 2024. Shall I do the thing? Fine, I'll do the thing. I won't be too loud because uh, people might be over here, but... 2024! Okay, I don't think anyone heard that. <laughs> Did you all watch um, Fesh Pints 3? That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> My room is getting filled with these empty fruit chew bottles. There's just no room for them. 